our eight lads and lasses. It's going to be a sample video, take you through how we build a basic data set. Hi, from a spreadsheet or a CSV file. Let's crack on then, eh? So, our here, here's me face, right? Dead easy. Power BI desktop, all we need to do is to gun in and say, right, I want to get me data from a source. You can see now, got an Excel spreadsheet, SQL Server, even a blank table. What we're going to do for this, though, is we're going to go with a new source. We're going to pick a file, a CSV file in this case. I'm going to click Connect. When that opens, I'm just going to paste in. Hit OK. It's now going to load that through. Here's me data, right? Main thing, remember, always hit transform data. Yeah, transform data is the only way to do it. Transform it. What transform data is going to do is it's going to bring this through in as a spreadsheet that I can then see. Yeah, I get more of a spreadsheet style view. So for those of you coming from an Excel background, this is much easier to start working through what kind of we've got. Have a look and through here, right? Straight away, I can tell you this one we ain't going to use, right? This column. Order ID, maybe one would like to use in the future going through it. Order date, ship date, definitely ones to be using. Ship mode, I can imagine a lot of analysis would want to be around that. Well, customer details, so we've got a customer ID, name, segment, country, city, state and postal code. Hi, right, that's all your customer. There's also here, I see region. That's going to be customer as well, isn't it? Or is it? I, th I suspect it'd be part of the customer, right? We'll put it in as part of the customer for this. We'll then get into product information. So we've got a product ID, category, subcategory, product name. That's going to be consistent. We've got a sales. It's actually what the sale is, the quantity, the discount, and the profit. So those are going to be key bits of information that we're going to want to analyze, aren't they? So we can kind of already, we've got the idea that we've got a calendar table, we've got a customer, and we've got a product dimension in there. Right? right? So what we're going to do is we're going to build those out. So, should we get on with that? Champion. Arid. Step one. Calendar table. How we're going to build a calendar, you see. Dead simple. Right? If you remember, in the other video, I said it was one line of code. Is all you need to remember. Right? Go to D. Right click on here. Create a new query. Blank query. When that loads up, I'm going to get into the advanced editor. Yeah? In the advanced editor, you can see we've got the source here. So source equals list. I love IntelliSense. It's great, isn't it? Dates. Okay, so we want a list of dates. Open brackets. We need to give it a start date. See, IntelliSense is brilliant. It tells you, right? Hashtag to make clear it's kind of a number or like a thing I. It's like a number. It's the only way I can think of it in here, right? And then date. Open brackets, and then you need to put the year. So in this case, I know this has gone from 2014. So the 1st of January, 2014. So it's already put in a bracket for us, comma, right? And then we've got to put in a period, so a count as a number. So how many are we going to have, right? It's three years, so I reckon it's, well, I know, because I've done this before, I'm prepared, I'm not completely stupid, right? But I know that in this case, we're going to need to come back with about 1,100. Right. In terms of what you would normally do, yeah, 365 days in a year, and 366 on a leap year. Multiply that out by the number you've got. Right. So, 365 times three. Yeah, 1,194 or something like that. Right. So let's put in 1,250. Yeah. Gives us some leeway, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got some play, some wiggle room. And remember this, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. So the point of this was this was an interview question. So you need to do it. So you kind of rough and ready it. All right? So it's 1250. Whoa. <laughs> 1250. All right. Right. Then we've got to put in a step as a duration. Yeah. So what's our step going to be? Right. So again, hashtag duration, just so it knows it's a duration. What's it going to be? Right. You've got days, hours, minutes, oh, seconds. Yeah, we don't need any. We just need days. 
right? But you can see we could check, we could set this up to Gan hourly, set this up to Gan hour anywhere you want, right? That's it. I've now built me source. Right? Let's click OK. You see, suddenly I get a list of dates. <laughs> it's that simple, isn't it? All we need to do now is from here, let's convert that to a table. So we're not going to be a table. Ignore the errors, doesn't matter. Right? Let's rename this dates. Let's set this up as dates. Okay? We've now got a date column. From here, I've got to do is work out what columns we need. So we're going to go and add columns. Want dates? Let's put in the year. Come back to here. Dates. Let's put in the month. Let's get the month number. Come back. Dates. Month. Name of month. Yeah. You could keep going, right? There's plenty of stuff in here. It would help, right? We could even put in. Let's put in day. Yeah. If we put in day, and I should put in name of day as well. So we can do something around. Weekdays, which weekdays are busiest days, one of that, right? That's not difficult, that is it, right? And we've built a calendar dimension. And that took us what? A couple of minutes at most, right? All from knowing that list.dates gets you a calendar. Right? I really recommend that you remember that. It's up here. It's not what you know. There's to say, well, it actually is with this, isn't it? Right? Job done. Right? That's one. That was call this Wakanda. Call in, don't forget to see it. I mean, is that bad? Oh, must be getting hard. Yeah. I'm getting hard, man. I'm getting hard. Right. Next thing we need to do, yeah? So we've got here, this was a base query that we bought, that we bought in, right? Whenever you're doing stuff with CSVs, this is my recommendation to do. People, other people might give you different advice, right? I'd always say, bring the raw file in, right click on it, disable the load, right? And then everything you want to do, you want to be referencing that as a start point. Right? And I'm saying that because in my experience, you end up doing this kind of thing an awful lot, right? Where you're actually then cutting and slashing and rehashing whatever that flat file was to get some proper dimensions out of it, right? So here we're going, let's start with this. Customer. Okay, so what do we need for the customer? We need the customer ID. We need that all the way out of the region, didn't we? There we go. Hold down shift, top of there, region. Right click, remove all the columns. Bosh, right? Customer, done. That was going back to here, reference another query. Let's make sure we've got that. Take that, enable load, enable load. This one's going to be what product? In it, right? So product, what do we need to do? We're going through here. And we're going to have product name, product ID. Actually, I'm going to do a product name, product ID to product name. The only reason to do it is it does it in the order which you select them. So we put them back to the front. You now you might go, well, what I want is to have that and then the product name, sorry, that, and then hold down control to be able to pick the different ones. And gone that way. So if we now right click and remove the other columns, see we've now got product ID to product name. Maybe a better way to gun about it. Ah, you know, little things. Last thing we need to do, right, is build one main sales table, right? And this one, we're gonna start, we're gonna cut out all the rest of the columns as well, aren't we? So what we need to do with this, again, we're gonna right click on, we'll start column, reference it again, or start table, reference it, Brings this up. Let's get rid of the stuff we didn't want. All right. So we didn't want that one. We didn't want all this stuff about customer. All right, but I'm going to leave in customer ID, obviously, because that link would link it to there. Doing the same with product. We're going to leave product ID. Get rid of the product name. Oh, man. I hate it when you release the button too soon. This time, it's going to remove them columns. Right, so what we've got left is here, isn't it? Now, I reckon, a quick glance along there. So we've got the order ID, order date, both dates aren't they there. 
ship mode, customer ID, product ID, sales, quantity, discount, profit. It's all good, isn't it? That like that's good to know. Okay. Oh, that's sales. Okay, job's done. Right, that's it. We built it. Right, that was simple, that late, wasn't it? Right, so all we need to do now, come back home, close and apply. Close and apply, right? And Power BI is now going to process them changes and build me my data model. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this new screen here, Alec. Right. Now I've got to put my joins in, haven't I? Right, and I've just realized when I'm about to do it, I've made a mistake, right? So don't worry, this kind of thing happens a lot, right? What I've forgotten to do is to remove all the duplicates, isn't it? So what I need to do is go back through to transform the data again. So transform data, go back through. You'll be doing this so often when you're doing these builds. It's, it's not even funny, and I wouldn't worry about having to go back and forth. It's not something I'd ever turn around and say to you, if you're going back and forth, you're not doing it right. It's never that way. So on here, we're going to right click on more ID columns on here. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to remove duplicates. Yep, and do the same on product. Right click. Yeah, and remove duplicates. Okay, so now we've got two distinct lists one of our products, one of our customers. Right, and now again, we can hit close and apply. It'll update that. Okay, so now what I need to do is have I've got my sales there, and what I normally do is just have have the main one up at the top, yeah, and these down at the bottom. Right, what I might do as well if you've got multiple fact tables, right, which you will have as you get bigger and bigger with your data modeling, right, I recommend starting to use these, have more than one view for each one, right. So you've got your all, which always has everything built, right, but if you build your joins for each fact table. In a different view, right? When you get in the all, you'll find they're all there. Okay, so it saves you having to think. Well, have I got this here? Is that all joined in? Do it. Break it down. Right. It's the best way to do it. The easiest, the simplest. Right. So for here, what we'll do? Right, we'll start with this. Yeah. Zoom in a little bit. So calendar, calendar dates, guns to order date, and it guns to ship date. Right, we've got product ID, which goes to a product ID. We've got customer ID, which goes to a customer ID. Yeah, and you can see it doesn't matter which order you join that you drag them across to. Hi, right? it will always be able to cope with that. We've got two joins on what calendar, right? Because we could do look at this based on ship date or by order date, and we've got one to many on the other two. Yeah, all of them are one to many joins. Right, brilliant. Jobs are good. This point, I can start to build stuff, can't we? Right. So we could bring this through. And we could say, right. Let us look at our calendar. Let us look at um. Oh, we're going to need. We could redo with a hierarchy in here, couldn't we? Right. So month name for starters. Let's start with month name there. Right. It's going to sort month name by month. Right. And then we're going to put month name down on top of year. Start to build this hierarchy up, yeah. And then we'll put date same hierarchy yeah and then we're going to bring that through here we can see we can see those right then we're going to turn around and we're going to say wait let's look at the sales and what all we need to do is drag a couple of things in from here didn't we right so let us drag with profit in and let us drag with sales in right and we can see really how we're done across that period and that's not that wasn't too hard to do was it really that You know, and we can bring these in and we can then set that up so that we could actually drill down into 2016, see what's happened in 2016. Yeah, and we can then see across the months what's going on. Okay, from here, we've already got the point where we could now start to say, well, what's the next stage of the analysis? You know, year over year calculations, doing all this stuff. From here, you can start to do all your year over year calculations, your, you know, percentage changes. You can see as well, Power BI will allow you or will help you with some analysis itself. So explain this increase. That might make a big difference to you, to be honest, you know, in terms of actually what's happening, right? So it's all good to be able to do that. 
And being able to build these quickly and even just do rough and ready analysis is a real skill to learn. Okay, It's not about saying this is going to be perfect on day one. What I want you to see with this is I've built a start. From the here, we can now go to the next stage. The next stage is going to be which product is making the most money for us, which product is making the least money for us. Is there a region, a state that we're actually doing really well in? Is there a state that we're doing really badly in? Okay. We can do all sorts with this. So we can actually go, if we look at the customer, where we've got state. If we come here over to this side, and in the data category, we say it's a state or a province, right? and we bring it in, and we then bring in sales, we can start to see which states we're selling them in. Okay? And I hope you can all agree, that wasn't that difficult to do, was it really? You know, you might prefer, in this case, maybe the shape map works better. Let me see if I can see where the shape map is. Where's the shape map, man? Shape map. There you go. Shape map. Yeah, that looks quite good for that, doesn't it? So we'd actually start to see California is where we seem to be selling the most. You know, is that good? We've got a divide there. We can then see, is that, you know, New York's doing quite well as well. So we're definitely like a city-based sales company. You know, I've got Nout Gannon on our here, you know, in Wyoming and that lot. So if the question came down, where would I, you know, where would I push? Where would I, where's my growth areas? You know, what's the percentage change over time? Those are all things to put in, yeah? Start to analyze the data. Start to show what's happening. Start to determine where the growth is, okay? And... This video, what, 15 minutes or so? You still have 45 minutes left to do your analysis to start to say, wait, well, my mind says this is where we need to go next. My mind says this is what we need to do now. That's where you start to really grow, right? So I would definitely recommend, right, go to the, uh, the interview in Geordie Intelligence, right? I'll put the links on to download the file, right? So I'll put just a hyperlink in. All you need to do is copy the hyperlink, or you can even download it to your computer and do it. Um, this data set, it's been around for a while. It was actually a Tableau one. Um, I've just put it on the website just so that it was easier for you to put it in there rather than using someone else's link. Right? If you want to keep using this, I'm fine with it, man. It's not one I'm going to claim and say, this is my data set. If I need to build one, I'm happy to build one. It doesn't bother me. Right? Let us know what you think. Right? Don't forget, like and subscribe down below. Keep on building, is all I can say, yeah? When you're coming through to look for jobs in Power BI, different worry if you're finding, you know, oh, this isn't going right for us, this is, I'm making mistakes here, I'm doing something wrong there, right? Everything's a learning experience. Good, bad, it's always, whatever you take out of it, try and take something positive out of it. All right, so take care of your one eye. Look after yourselves, and uh, I will catch you in the regular videos, yeah? You know, ta-da.